When we started dating, he was the sweetest person ever. And then we kind of got married and it just like stopped. Then that's when I was like, whoa. It ended when I got engaged. I mean, I'm just to be honest. I felt like I, I won her over. But I've actually been trying again to do it. Like I brought her a rose last week, you know, because I felt like, you know, maybe I haven't been the guy that she expected. We didn't get married for that. I loved who he was. That was tested, I guess. <laughs> I like the house to be cold. She'll have like the big comforter and she wants me to put it over me and I'm like, it is way too hot. <laughs> I just I need a sheet. <laughs> and she wants the car. I'm like, uh-uh, this is way too much body heat and clothing heat and sheet heat. And I'm like, all right, roll over to your side. I'm gonna roll over to my side and we'll go to bed. I am definitely like an on-time person and she is not. She is told like if we're, an hour late, we're right on time for her. Like if you're going to like a birthday party or something like that, let's say it starts for seven o'clock. No one's really there at that time. I don't want to make people feel uncomfortable. Like, oh, hey, we're all in your house right now and no one's here. I'll say, all right, are you ready? Yeah, I'll be ready in five minutes. So I'm packing up, putting everything in the car because I think she literally means five minutes, but she really means like 25, 30, sometimes an hour, depending. And then she'll realize that I'm aggravated that she's taking so long and she'll take even longer to make me more <laughs> upset. So he has a problem with my timing, my five minutes, but his whole football thing is like, way two minutes means 20 minutes right in football, so I'm, I don't see where he doesn't connect both of them and agree that five minutes might mean 20 minutes or so, just like in football. I had to get adjusted to his messiness because he's messy. Like he'll take his clothes, like his shirt will be in the living room, his shorts will be like in the kitchen, everything will be everywhere. I'm not his mom, he's not three or four that I have to pick up after him. I have a problem with toothpaste. She squeezes it like this, <laughs> and I am a nice and neat toothpaste roller person. And I cap it when it's done. She don't. She was definitely a, a messier person. A messier? I mean, I'm not, as far as toothpaste. Okay. As far as toothpaste. Well, as you can see, it's not always easy to be married. But the goal is not just to be married. I, I think the goal is to be really, really married. And that's the name of our conference that we're having at Living Grace Community Church on Saturday, February 16th. Registration's at 8.30 and we begin at 9 o'clock. And we'll cover topics such as how to get your husband to talk to you, how to encourage your wife to be intimate with you, how two people truly become one, and how to prevent an affair. So, if you're interested in being not just married, but really, really married, we encourage you to be part of this conference.